Over at Stacy's, I didn't know what was worse, having to confess what I had done or feeling like I was in the Bronx Zoo. So what'd you want to talk to me about? You got to give Doc another chance. Chris, Doc is a liar. And I know that you want to take up for him, but he doesn't deserve another chance. Ugh. He is like all the other men I've ever dated. He lied, they lied, because they're liars. Story of the Bush administration. Doc's not like that. He is. Chris, don't grow up to be like that. No matter how much you think you may hurt a woman's feelings, you have to tell her the truth. She may hate you. She may burn down your house or pour bleach on your clothes or attack your new girlfriend with ants or take every dime you make. She may scratch your car with a rake or use your home phone to call China long distance. Or she could put milk and detergent in your gas tank or put turpentine and nail polish remover and itching powder in your underwear. She may glue your private parts to your leg. She may send an assassination threat to the president with your return address. Uh, or, Stacy. Hmm? Doc didn't do anything. It was me, not a lot. Chris, don't you see how he's using a child to make excuses for him? He's not. The truth is, Stacy. I don't like you. And I don't like how hard you're making me work. I was trying to get rid of you. I'm trying to break you and Doc up. What? Why wouldn't you like me? You're making me clean your house. You missed a spot. See? Chris, everybody likes me. No. Nobody likes you. Except for Doc and Drew. And Drew doesn't count. He just likes pie. How's that for honest? Now she's going to burn your house down. You going to burn my house down? No. Glue my eyelids shut? Chris, no. Just a little surprised. A lot surprised. Well, Doc really misses you. He didn't do anything to deserve this, and neither did you. So, just wanted to say I'm sorry. Chris, I am very disappointed in you. And as soon as you finish washing the dishes, I want you out of my house. Where are you going? I'm going to get my man. Unless Apocalypto throws a spear in you.